Hi, good morning friends. Welcome to this training video on role of technology in real estate. Today we will talk something about how technology can help you as a real estate broker to increase your business. Real estate broking is a field where personal involvement is very much necessary. However, technology can help you in a lot many ways. Let's uh, see some aspects in which technology can help you increase the business. This PPT's agenda is why technology is important, what to look for in a technology, online reputation management, social media marketing, search engine optimization, Google tools, email use of Outlook, database management and property listing. We will be taking it two parts. Uh, we will be dividing this video in uh, two parts and then uh, when you combine it will cover the entire agenda. So this is uh, the agenda for both the parts. So in case if you miss something you should you know you should see the entire two parts so you get a complete picture of this session. Let us get into the basics. Why do you drive a car? Why do you drive a horse car? A motor car versus a horse car is a question you, you should ask yourself. Motor car is a technology, it's automobile engineering and uh, horse car is uh, say maybe animal engineering. I don't know the word for it but uh, the whole idea is that you could always drive a horse car. The horses were there uh, when motor cars were invented by you. So if you think about it, there are a lot of differences. Let us point out a few differences. Point number one, which is costly. Yes, the horse cart is more costly. The cost of running a horse and cost of parking a horse are the both very costly. Because if you park a horse, it needs food, it needs medication, it needs cleaning, it needs uh, all the attention. Like you know, you need a guard, guard to guard for a horse. The horse won't may run away. A motor car won't. While a car you can just park it and then forget it and probably you need just a battery recharge. You can park for months. So a horse is a lot costlier than a motor car. What about environment friendliness? A horse is releases more greenhouse gases than a motor car. What about uh, cleanliness on the street? Imagine the how the roads would look if you had a hundred thousand horses in your city. Yeah, so those are uh, perils of old technology and if you come to think of it, just look at this person. Is he or she trained? Is he or she can manage the horse? But just look at yourself today. With a lot less training, you could manage your car. So if you say cost of cost of owning and running a horse, cost of maintaining a car, cost of driving a car, driving a horse, ease of use, ease of you know maneuvering, yeah, ease of training, maintaining a lot many things are easier in a car. So that is the same reasons why we will be using a lot of technology what we are using today and in future. So that's how we know that technology is very important to improve your daily life. Uh, first of all, we face this problem of cost of living keeps on increasing. Everybody blames on the increase in uh, prices of petrol. Everybody blames in the, uh, the problem of less lack of time. Everybody has a problem that maintain, uh, the rentals are higher, the overheads are higher. Cost of living is always increasing. Yet, I have come across in 100 years of history that there is any tangible reduction in cost of living. Not ever has the cost of living got reduced. Productivity has to take care of inflation and ambition. So you have an ambition to become better than last year. So I will be 10% better, have more savings than last year and I have 10% and there is a 10% inflation. So productivity is the only solution which can 
take care of both the 20% like 10% of inflation and 10% of ambition so how do you how do you manage that how do you keep on increasing your productivity year on year for entire working life of yours how do you increase that do more in less time that's what productivity is all about but for that you use technology you use technology to do more in less time improve your image increase your sales reputation management technology not only is all about productivity but it is also about increasing your sales increasing improvement of your reputation if you are in service business reputation better reputation equal to more sales so technology does that that will take care in reputation management technology is not is only important when it increases your income or reduces your expenses so there is one technology which um, is a um, thing which you show off to your friends that oh wow you have such a technology but you have to ask that to yourself does it increase your income or does it reduce your expense there are a lot of technology even today in the market which does the reverse it increases your expenses and reduces your income uh, we will not talk about that Te those technologies they don't last for long but however in technologies which either do increase your income or reduce your expenses or do both are very very you're very very successful in the long run what to look for in a technology it should be affordable it should be easy to use it should be widely acceptable it should be from a good company so if you see a mobile phone and a smartphone recently launched we we'll look for a smartphone in uh, today's market there are four major smartphone players one is apple iphone is it affordable for some maybe not but it is definitely easy to use uh, one is google android is it affordable to a lot extent more than an iphone but is it easy to use some would disagree what about blackberry it's neither affordable nor easy to use but still they are being sold what about windows mobile hmm interesting should be affordable should be easy to use widely acceptable from a good company so microsoft is a reasonably good company but still windows mobile is not something because it's not widely acceptable for some reason maybe there are less apps available as of now windows mobile is not widely accepted however iphone which is not easily uh, affordable is a widely accepted product and it is one of the you know one which is the highest market share in the top range of mobile which is like more than 300 dollars so uh, we have a clear comparison with uh, google android which is not so costly not so easy to use from a good company and widely acceptable it is 70% smartphone market as of now how does it help me in making my everyday life easy you do ask whenever you want to adopt a new technology how does it make my everyday life easy so if you don't use the technology say every single day okay every day doesn't mean that every single day but most of the days so you have to see that does that technology help most of the days do i have a need for the feature the new technology provides so there is this new smartphone in the market which provides say maybe a feature which you do not use usually okay but you just like that feature and you want to buy it will you use that feature just because that pro phone provides most probably not here's when most people go wrong is that they buy products just for its features and they don't see whether it they they can actually use it or not eventually one year later two years later you may jump that pro product and not have you know buy another one without that feature and you have no change in your lifestyle is it reliable will it work when i need it the most a lot of technology these days are uh, available like there is a rush for feature addition and sometimes the manufacturers don't focus on reliability so ensure that your products the product you buy is reliable you know wait till it proves itself in the market 
then you get German. Okay. So moving on to the next topic, which is online reputation management. You have an image to build. You have an image to construct in the people's mind, in your prospect's mind. How do you do that? Let's look at it. There are two ways to it. One is reputation already what is there in the market. You have to manage that and you have to create what you want. ORM as we shortly call it, online reputation management. Customers are online. So it's very important that you have a reputation online which is good because customers are online. Prospects are online. Prospects meaning customers which like you are yet to sign on, may be checking your profile. Competitors are online. They may take undue advantage of anything bad about you online. And people dissatisfied for you for no reason are online. So maybe you have a neighbor who is unhappy with you because you park your car too much nearer to his parking and then he doesn't get a space to get out. So he will post bad things about you online. And guess who will read it first? Most unintended person which is the prospect. And he will say that oh this person is not a good human being. He is harassing other people. So let me not deal with him. Future of your company is online. Because if your company, if you want to work in your company and make it big, people will check it online and ensure that including your profile, your company's profile is safe. Online reputation is a combination of mainstream media, social media and search. The biggest reputation engine is Google. Google has made everybody's life easy except the people who are getting searched. So if you want to if you want to you can write your brand or your name in Google and see for yourself what does your what is your online reputation. It's simple. Unfortunate part is you have to see it every day, every minute, because anytime anybody can write. And the say for for example you went on a vacation and then people would have write something bad about you. You by the time you come to know and you try to respond to it, it's already late. Many people would have seen it. There is a website called uh, paypalsucks.com which is, you know PayPal is the number one payment engine in the world. It processes a lot of credit card, credit cards and you know payments and uh, the competitors put up this site paypalsucks.com and click here for the number one PayPal alternative. So they have proudly said that click here for an alternative and these are the problems these are the complaints which have been registered against PayPal. We talked about iPhone which is the number one market share in the top topmost bracket of smartphones. There is a video on YouTube called iPhone sucks and they have written everything. It has 9 lakh views. 9 lakh people have seen iPhone sucks. So probably most people would have still bought iPhone but you are not iPhone. <laughs> if you have such a video that uh, your name sucks dot like you know a video and I'm sure people will never deal with you. So there are tools to track your reputation. There are a lot of tools available. We'll just talk about Google Alert right now. Uh, easiest thing is to uh, put your name in Google Alert. We'll discuss that in Google Tools. What is a Google Alert? But the easiest thing is to do this. There are a lot of other tools like Tweet Beep and track you are etc etc but those are highly technical it is for larger companies to make your reputation all the things we discussed today we will be discussing a lot of things today and combine everything will make your reputation short term you can do search engine optimization social media displaces search engine result page okay Make brand optimization a process. Brand optimize all digital assets like text, images, audio, video. What is brand optimization? For all the videos you put, you put your brand along with it. So maybe like a Remax brand, 
uh, if you put your video as in uh, as a video as in a report on the real estate market of Ahmedabad and you put it a Remax agent XYZ or a Remax broker XYZ has this to say and and in the, in the description you put a lot of Remax Remax it brand optimized likewise all blogs all images all audio you have to brand optimize it optimize across departments we don't have so many departments but in case you have you can do that result is more branded search engine result pages so when, when somebody searches for say Remax Ahmedabad they will see the videos they will see the audios the photos and the videos and text blogs and everything long term identify qualified and engaged dissenters dissenters are people who are like have some sort of complaints who are not totally satisfied is there merit to the issue are they really right or are they really you know just complaining if not offer facts and ask for correction if they are not right then offer facts that sir you have a complaint because of the following reasons if yes offer to discuss okay so you are right let's discuss it out yeah we are not a hundred, we are also humans we also make mistakes it is a mistake and we are sorry for that be ready to respond via blog be ready to respond via blog very important so if you have a blog and if you see a complaint you can say that okay the, this is what happened and this is how the complaint happened uh, like the, your response to it and how corrective measures you have taken that it doesn't happen again result can be loyal brand fans the result of this can be you can have a lot, very good loyal brand fans they will in fact fall in love with your brand your company yourself when you when they understand that you are not afraid of uh, you know confrontation and you are not afraid of uh, con making mistakes and learning from it so it's very important that you respond to engage the dissenters this is one example which uh, I have uh, for from a hotel uh, trip advisor is where people advise other travelers whether the hotel is good or bad I frequently check that before going to an hotel and I put my reviews after leaving that hotel so I had went for a breakfast in Buljar Arab which is a 5 star deluxe hotel in Dubai and I wrote down that it's a very good Indian breakfast and uh, it's good vegetarian food so the manager the general manager responded it immediately and said thank you for your feedback etc etc so that means that the general manager of that hotel is continuously reviewing online reviews online comments online advice what are the travelers give and he not only just responds to people who are dissenters but he also com comments the people who appreciate the service so I am more happy, now if I go to Dubai again, I will definitely visit Gujarat again. Okay, tactics, build online reputation, search engine optimization and digital asset optimization, social media marketing, media relations and digital PR. Uh, digital asset optimization is, uh, there are so many kinds of digital asset, it includes blogs, videos, PDF, images, so slide share photo sharing, social news and podcasting. We will discuss a lot of these today and not all of these, it will take a long time but uh, this is what is digital assets and you have to optimize them. You know social media, Facebook, Twitter, we will be talking about that. Media relation and digital PR is pretty much for a bigger company but um, if you have an article then you can post it to PR website, we will come to that later. Yeah, so these are the digital assets, you can do demos, you can do press releases, images, videos, blog, media coverage, social news, bookmark, okay. This all things you need to optimize. Target, what do, you, what do I mean by, when I say optimize, what do you do? Hmm? Uh, good, if you get that ma question in mind, it, you are on the right track because that's what an that's answer. This slide is good to answer. Your target should be to have a reputation of an expert in your area, expert in your geographical farm. 
So you want to be an expert, say in maybe Koregaon Park, Pune, or maybe in Bandra, or maybe in satellite. Anywhere you want to become an expert in realtor. So that's your geographical farm. Now you have maximum content mentioning your name and your focus area, both together. So when I say Koregaon Park, and if Manan Chaksi's name is in ten such. So online things like digital assets, as Manan Chowk said, Koregao Park, and I would say flat. Then, if anybody says Koregao Park flat, they would see your name coming up in one way or the other. So, if you focus on commercial or residential, and if you specialize on any content on that, you should uh, use your name again. And uh, the content should revolve around that subject. So probably, if there is a, a big company, which is say maybe you are dealing in offices, in commerce, corporate offices, and there is a big company looking for space, or a big company has done a transaction in say maybe Pune, and you are in commercial spaces in Pune, you can write that uh, in a blog that this company did this deal. Even maybe it with you, or may not be with you. Say a big mall is coming up, or maybe a big mall is uh, um, looking for land, or maybe they have empty shop areas. You should look. You should put it. Put some content on it. You can put a video or something like that, and put it up up there. Small news of that area. See, more importantly, is the small news. New opening of a shop, new scheme in that area, even reviews of restaurants, which will give you reputation you need. Okay, so here's the thing. If I'm looking for satellite road in Ahmedabad, I'm looking for a 3 BHK apartment. I would search 3 BHK apartment in satellite. Okay, but some people who are new to satellite start with looking for a restaurant because they initially eat food there. So you say, you know, there is a company called like TripAdvisor. There is board, you know, things like that which give online reviews. If your name is associated there, you immediately get recollect. So when they see that, say Manan Chaksi is talking about restaurants, um, and Manan Chaksi is here also showing apartments, so they relate to it. So that is where you can use all your focus on that area and anything which happens there. Maybe a small shop opening. So a couple of days back, on my way to office, I saw. Prestige Smart Kitchen getting opened in the area. Now, ideally, all the people who move on, move into a new house, they may be having a, some kitchen-related requirements. Prestige Smart Kitchen, if I remember, has starting from the Prestige Cooker to the stoves and to utensils and to you know entire modular kitchens. So you can tell to your target market that okay, Prestige Smart Kitchen is open here. So that way, your target market, who maybe people who have recently moved in or are planning to shift, it's good uh, content for them. Ensure that your name is associated with it. So when you write down a blog of Prestige Smart Kitchen opens in Pralad Nagar and it caters to such 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 things and it has so many um, you know products to offer and. So many areas like Anand Nagar or Satellite can take benefit of this convenient store location. Good. We can put some photographs also. Whenever people say utensils in Satellite, okay. So first thing, you pop up this blog, and people will know. Oh, a noted realtor has mentioned this. So it's good for you, and probably is prestige smart to people. Realize that you have little something good about them. They will also refer you customers. In the long run, so key takeaways: uh, you must be productive. Uh, sorry, you must be proactive. Monitoring conversations, content optimization, digital asset promotion, and analytics. Analytics is the uh, little bit on the later side of the story. But first, you start with you know conversations and content optimization. Bottom line: People check everything they find about you online before meeting you. This has happened with me when I just gave my card to a person. He went back, he checked every, almost everything which had my name, 
and he called me that I want to meet you and I said that uh, okay I'm a little bit busy and we meet uh, later then he said of course you'll be busy you are doing so many things so I realized that oh okay so he knows a lot about me and a uh, few days later before when I had just given him my card he had not even heard my name so that would happen with you also when somebody refers your name that uh, Mr. Manan Choksi is a good realtor you should refer you should do your real estate requirements with him uh, then people would immediately see search what is Manan Choksi up to these days and you find out that okay he is having a criminal record or if he is having a, a you know a bad name a bad review they will not deal with you but if you manage, manage that online reputation then probably your business will increase uh, I would like to end this topic with a quote of Warren Buffett. Uh, it takes 20 years to build your a reputation and 5 minutes to ruin it. If you think about that, you will do, do things differently. Okay? So, whatever you do, online or offline, always remember this. So, let's go to the next topic. It's the world of social media. And this is how it looks like. Okay? So there are a lot of icons on the screen, but that doesn't mean much because you have to focus on few important social media sites. Sign in today in four major social media sites which is YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. These are most important, they have the maximum users. In fact, the users keep on changing. We we'll look into that, but we become bigger. So these are always uh, since a lot, a lot many years. These have got the top users. Why social media? You create relationships. You create relationships by meeting people in parties or you know traveling together or places like that. You build reputation, and relationship and reputation build reference. It's how we communicate as a culture. Social media is not about culture. There are 1 billion active Facebook users in the world today. 1 billion. It's like almost 1 sixth or 1 seventh of the world population. And this population which matters because they have computers, they have, they know English, they know a lot of, uh, you know, they have a lot of income. It's here to stay. There is a lot of, a lot of people did not believe in social media. Believe me, most of them already are on the social media. Reach your clients. You, a lot of your clients are online on Facebook. Education for all. It educates a lot of people. It's viral. It spreads like a viral. One, you know, one infects a lot many. So the spreads like uh, when Facebook was like brought to public, it had about 500 million people. Right now, it has 1 million. Build your online presence, build your presence online because people are searching for you in social media. It's free. It's free. What, do you, what does it, like how, how much does it cost? It's free. Yeah, it takes a lot of your time but that's one investment which you would like to make. Social media is not advertising. Don't advertise, like don't use social media only for advertisement. We we'll talk about Facebook advertisements but we are, what this refers to is don't use your friend your profile page to post ads like you should buy this you know because you are earning a commission social media is not public relation it is not work for the entire public it is for your friends and you have to treat it that way it's not branding don't you misuse social media for branding it's not only about technology People think social media is something to do with computers, it's obviously about technology. No, it's about you, your friends. It's about your social discussions. It's a cocktail party. There was a book called Social Media is a Cocktail Party. And uh, it says that it party goes on with or without you. Do you be in the park or same, some people watching this video may not even have a Facebook account. But it's a good time. To start having. When you go to a party, listen and mingle before you talk. 
See, that's the point. As in, what do you do in a party? You have to behave in a particular fashion. Here it is also the same way. You have to behave in a particular fashion. Keep the conversation thread going naturally. It has to be natural. You don't try to maneuver the conversation the way you want. It's not all about you. It's all about them. It's all about them. Always remember. If people like to work and need what you do, they want to work with you. So I am here a realtor in Ahmedabad and I talk about real estate in New York. I continuously put posts which mention things about New York. It's a wonderful market, the prices are low, right now is a good time to buy. So many deals we have uh, like have happened in New York and the prices they are getting very good rental returns. But that's not what people need. In Ahmedabad people don't buy usually properties in New York as of now. So then how will they deal with you? So if, but however if I mention something like that I am in Ahmedabad and I am focusing on um, area in Paldi and uh, there are so many how residential apartments are wonderful area, lot of greenery etc 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 there would be some more people who are interested in buying flat in Paldi so this is one ad which says that physician like cigarettes you know it's about the ad of cigarettes and it says something about physician but unfortunately only 14% people believe in advertisement only 14% people believe in advertisement okay however 70% trust the recommendation of their consumers other consumers so if you if you have already taken that cigarette then I would trust you but if you are physician just recommending no. this just physicians recommend not to smoke Still people smoke because others are recommending that they should smoke. <laughs> so everything which works on recommendation rather than advertisement. And how do you get recommendation? How do you get referral? Social media has become a big channel for it. At a glance. Let us see three major social media websites. One is Facebook, another is Twitter and another is LinkedIn. We will not go into details uh, but it has one million photo galleries, privacy settings, you know, etc, etc. However, Twitter is 500 million users. Twitter is more into short messages. Facebook is more into rich messages which include video, audio, text and links. LinkedIn is pro more professional. It is for executives of uh, like every executive, rather every Fortune 500 company has one executive at least who is on LinkedIn. It's more on the top end. Some facts. Facebook users in India, guess how many would be? India is a country of 120 crore people. How many Facebook users would be there? You need a computer, you need English knowledge that would take out 80% of Indian population. Six crores. Six crore people are on. That's almost 5% of Indian population is on Facebook. Mumbai, there are about 60 lakhs. Ahmedabad, there are about 10 lakhs. Pune, there are about 20 lakhs. 21, 22 in fact. These, uh, Facebook has a feature in which you can target users of that particular city for advertisement. Uh, so, you can focus, you can target the, the particular user. So, if you are ski launching a project in Ahmedabad no need to target all over India. This figure are as on 2010. So in last 15 days there are about 10 lakh users have been added to India. So I don't know how fast it's gonna grow. Okay, so let us distinguish between a Facebook page and a profile. Humans have a profile. Humans as in flesh and blood you get your own profile it's a username password you, username is usually an email address and password is whatever you want to type but you have a profile however a maximum 5000 friends you can make that is the limitation of a facebook profile groups are friends following the similar topic so you have a group of people 
and on your group whenever you post messages everybody in that group gets notified so that is a group businesses have facebook page so facebook page is made by business businesses so your office is a good business Remax office is a good business entity that is a facebook page Remax region has a facebook page Remax india has a facebook page and Remax international has a facebook page however people make a mistake of creating a profile for a business which is totally wrong only humans have that right you cannot advertise a profile page or a group see that is the problem you will face that once you first of all you cannot have more than 5000 friends for example Remax regional MGM page has around 8000 likes today now if we had a username we will never have reached that level because it is a 5000 limit moreover if you have groups or a profile you cannot advertise so in future if you want to advertise a special offer or you want to promote a post you cannot advertise ok so that's the reason why it's advisable to have a Facebook page right now Okay, we'll talk something about Facebook privacy. On your profile, all your updates are by default public. If you want to choose that only your friends want to see, can see, or public want, can see, or friends or friends can see, you need to change the privacy settings for each post. Or you can go and look in your profile for a by default privacy setting. They are public only friend to friends or friends of friends likewise your profile page your friend list is also there are multiple settings to them that as to it that you can make it public only your friends can see or only friends of friends can see for a friend request you get and you reject it he or she becomes a subscriber who can view your public updates so if you reject a friend request they are still your subscriber and they will be seeing your updates which are your are public Again, you can change the setting, but by default, this is it. How to create a page? So, this is an MGM page. There are 7,700 likes. How do you create this page? First of all, it's free. So, you can create a page. There's a link out here. Sometimes it will change this link, but look for create page, and you'll be able to create your own page. Okay, this is paid ad advertisements sometimes uh, you want to increase the likes on your page or you want to promote a particular property or uh, you may resort to advertising there are targeted advertising in Facebook it's on age, gender, interest, categories, connection of pages like anybody who is who likes Remax MGM like it should be your own page uh, should that should be targeted to them relationship status you know married people usually buy properties so if you want to sell a property you may look for married people languages education workplaces these are the ta ad targeting options I would not recommend a lot to start Facebook advertisement it is very easy but I would not recommend it because it's the results are not very fast you get long term benefits Okay, Facebook you can use for a lot of other things like you can search for prospects say maybe shifting to Ahmedabad and you will see people anybody who has written shifting to Ahmedabad in this you will see that I am happy to announce that I have joined XYZ company and I am going to Ahmedabad and this is my number so I am happy finding two BHK flat in satellite oh my god how cool is that you just get a lead just by writing shifting to Ahmedabad unfortunately this lead posts keep on Updating, so you need to check it every single day, and uh, you see that uh, there is a number available, and Abhishek Sharma is looking for a flat. Isn't that cool? Shifting to Mumbai, there are a lot of people here. Shifting to Mumbai, more activity, new offer closing. Okay, now you can post things like more activity. How are you staying busy? Just submitted an offer closing tomorrow. You know, you can put posts like which show that you are a very busy realtor or maybe you are a very active realtor. So you may say that uh, attending a 
um, you know, showing three properties today, or maybe showing uh, closing a deal tomorrow, or something like that. You know, you have to be very encouraging in your words if you put any comment anywhere or anything like that. So you, they should see people like to talk to positive people. There is enough negativity out there. So if you have to be very positive in all your written communication, be real. Don't be fake. Don't just add positivity when there is no scope of it, rather keep silent, but be real to them. Encouraging change, you can also encourage people to change, uh, like uh, if there is an agent and he's saying that, okay, I did a lot of business and you said, hey, okay, you can come to Remax, you'll do more or things like that. That way, indirectly you promote Remax or indirectly you increase the number of agents at your office. Okay, there is rule of 555, 555 for Facebook. Every day you should do 5 Facebook likes. You should do 5 Facebook likes. Like other people's comments or status updates. 5 people's. 5 personal messages. There is one interesting statistic. Only 20% of the email messages are open while 80% of Facebook messages are open. Why is that? Because Facebook usually doesn't have junk emails, junk messages, and you can control it. That if that person is doing spam, you can just say ban user, then you will never be able to message you. So that gets rid of him, lifetime. While in email, you cannot do that. Five comments on other people's status. You should do five comments on other people's status. People will notice you. No matter how big they are, even if you know a celebrity, you like a celebrity, you keep commenting, they will notice you. It has happened with me, it has it will be happening with you also. Do not do a lot of things which you do not do on Facebook. Here's the list. No political comments. Because say if you say I hate Congress and uh, there is a town supporter of Congress who needs to do business with you, he will not do business. No religious comments. You say, oh, I hate Christians. And guess what? The next customer is coming Christian and he sees that, oh, you have written something, I hate Christians. He will not talk to you. Racist comments. Racist comment meaning targeting a particular race. Like, I don't like Kathiawadis. You know, there are particular people in Gujarat, they are not good. How do you care? They are good customers. You may be losing a big customer. Jokes with bad taste. So there are a lot of jokes. Some are good, some are bad. Lot, lot may hurt other people's feelings. So there are like Sardarch jokes. Oh my god, so many. And there are like uh, jokes which are particular kind of sect or religion or race. And some jokes are just in bad taste. Don't put it on your Facebook profile. You can put it, you can tell it to your friend orally. I would not recommend even putting it into SMS because return word stays for a longer time than oral word. Disrespect to women. A lot of people think that 80% Facebook users are men and just okay to disrespect women, but they forget that they are the decision makers for buying a home. So don't disrespect them, it will boomerang to you. Overposting don't post more than necessary because some people they like real estate brokers are traveling then they come to office and then they post a lot of things just on a single day and then again manage for entire week don't do that better to use a product called Hootsuite which will help you space out your postings rather than doing over posting Hootsuite is again a paid product Repulsive photos. Uh, there are photos available like friend share and you just click share and that photo is on your profile. And there are ugly, repulsive, you know, hideous photos. Just to get sympathy. All, all that. Don't do repulsive photography. Don't, don't share that. That ultimately destroys your profile. Remember, there is no dislike button. So people, when they don't do anything, that doesn't mean that they necessarily like or, they, or necessarily don't dislike. So there is no dislike button. So how would they express that they dislike your photo or your post? 
so they just keep silent. When they do, you know, you know, you are in a dilemma whether they like the, or they, and they didn't press like button or they dislike and then there was no button to press. So okay, so let's move on to the next topic, which is the number two search engine. What is the number two search engine? So first is Google, which is the number two, where people search the most after Google. Yes, it is YouTube. YouTube is the video sharing site which uh, where you can upload the videos, you can view videos. That is the number two place where people go after Google. It's free. Can you imagine that? You can just put your video up there free. Five steps to be more powerful on YouTube. Get keyword suggestion from autocomplete feature. You can get keywords. See, you just put video, but nobody watches that unless you put relevant tags and keywords and everything. And let's use autocomplete feature. You use use key, keyword suggestion tool. Add title, description, tags, etc. Video is not just important, everything else is important. Annotation on notes. Try YouTube promoted videos. Uh, YouTube will promote your videos. You can try that. YouTube channel, you can create your own YouTube channel, it's very easy and you get a URL and uh, you, whatever, you get subscribers and, and video views and you get analytics also, it's all free. How do you, like when you upload a video, these are the, this is the basic thing, which is a title, description, tag, okay, and you use privacy setting, whether you make public, unlisted or private category there are advanced setting also and that's how your video is getting uploaded and while your video is getting uploaded sometimes it takes really long it depends on your internet speed connection you can fill in this and press save it get it auto save also example of a video video uh, will be showing you a youtube video now it will be having there is a property which is being shown inside from the inside with the video camera. It's very interesting. Uh, see this and uh, relate to it how you would do the similar for your company. So what did you see in that video? Uh, the there was first of all no audio. There was the uh, tags were not good, and uh, the, the the property was not fully prepared. Okay, the what what was in the bed? Probably one side. There were some mattresses. That's it. And it was the view was very good, but they didn't show much on the view, and things like that. So try to improve and you can do the similar thing. How did I find that video? I just typed 3BHK in satellite and I found that video. So if you put a better, if you do a better job, probably you will have more views. 
Okay, let's go to the next topic as in slide share. <coughs> Slideshare is a, again a social site in which you put your PPT online. So when you make a PowerPoint presentation, it will be online and people can see the PowerPoint. And the best thing of, of this is, uh, of course it's free and it's easy, but when you have multiple versions of your PowerPoint, uh, like you know 2003, 2007, Microsoft Office 2010, you just put one version of PPT and they will convert it into a place which goes in the browser. You don't need people don't need specific viewer or a software to view it so there are two things first you have to make a very good ppt and then you have to upload it you're done slide sharing simple as that uh, again slide sharing when you have when you view a slide there are a lot of text inside the slide and automatically your slides are optimized and on that on the keywords inside the slide Another place people search for content. Slideshare is another place people search for content. You can present your properties in form of PPTs and send links to prospect. You can present in, you can present your office profile, your BA profile, bring out the points which are your USP in the slideshare. So you make one PPT of your office. These are good things about my office. These are some landmark deals that we have done. These are the benefits of working with this office and you can send it to prospective agents via email okay while in a ppt say maybe a 10 mb ppt you cannot send via email well in this you can send a link for an exclusive project suppose you take up an exclusive project and uh, you make one ppt you can share across the network that this is the exclusive project we have and they can in fact sell to their customers Okay, so that's uh, something about slide share. It's very easy, it's very fast, it doesn't take a lot of hard work once you have the PPT ready. Uh, let's move on to Twitter. Twitter, a lot of people would be knowing Twitter and would be following up on Amitabh Bachchan or a celebrity on Twitter. It's free. You can start Twitter using a mobile phone with internet and start scheduling two tweets a day. Link it to your Facebook. So whatever you post on Twitter, post to your Facebook. Add profile to a customized business directories, which are available on Twitter. And list manager you can give you a list of followers and list of people you are following. And you can decide who following who is following you. And you can remove them if you don't like. Rules of thumb: be yourself, keep it personal. Be of value, be helpful. Engage and inspire. You should engage people and inspire them. Don't spam. Don't keep on posting a lot of things. Don't over tweet. Oh, sorry, don't spam would mean uh, to use it as an advertising medium. And don't over tweet would mean, would mean that you don't over post. Manage your time using social networking. Okay, so you reduce your time involvement in things like which you don't want and see in Twitter what is most useful. Seven deadly sins, not listening, just posting, one way communication. It's very bad for Twitter. Not being involved in the topic which you are discussing. Self-promoting, yes we did everything for self-promoting but don't make it so obvious. Not adding value, you should add value to whatever you post. Not being honest and hard selling over posting again this is same thing like in facebook people over posting twitter because it is a short message so they uh, divide the message into like 10 equal parts and then over post okay so social media best practices uh, register in as many social media website as possible even with just your photo and your name and what you do keep the same picture on your on all the sites so they have a recollect blog update with content photos videos update with content content should be good you should blog you should put photos you should put videos traffic to conversion is the key first you need traffic and then you need to convert them to customers this is the key just only traffic or no traffic will not lead you anywhere Manage your Facebook page effectively, effectively as in if people actually put an inquiry into Facebook page, respond immediately, 
get good content online remove if there is any bad thing you know competitors posting bad things on your facebook page remove it things like that search engine optimization google is a search engine now how do you put your digital assets which are optimized to particular keywords say if you put a put your photograph and uh, you mention the text along with it as in a i am a great cricketer then obviously you will get your photo will come up when people search for cricketers but if you put your photograph along with the tag line that i am a great realtor or a broker it will your photo will come up when they search for a great realtor however there will be lot of many as soon as you put your photo online um, or maybe your article online it will be in competition with all brokers across the world so how do you bring about difference you put it with along with the city you are in along with the area which you specialize so something like this would be your blog post uh, well when you write the below of it that it is written by whom written by manan choksi a realtor specializing in commercial lease and pre-lease properties in Ahmedabad and neighboring areas or maybe you can write down the names in Ahmedabad in areas such as Ashram Road, CG Road, Satellite Road, SG Road, you know things like that. Uh, so that, that way whenever people search commercial broker in on SG Road your link will come okay so that is search engine optimization first of all to get into search engine optimization you need a website how do you build a website it's free with griff tech each broker owner a broker office each broker agent and each property gets a free website which is dynamic a dynamic website gets better tracking better ranking so if you have a particular text mentioning uh, the keywords which you want in a static website and in a dynamic website for the same amount of parameters a dynamic website is ranked higher now if you have a, a property which is a, a commercial property on in a particular area then in Griff Tech we have a lot of places where you can write down these things commercial best rent best return on investment property pre-leased you know which you can write it down in that way it will be search engine optimized now you don't just need to search engine optimize your uh, property website but also your agent website your office website in the area of specialization in the geographical area which you are there use slingshot to manage content a this is something which you need specific training for and you manage content on your website with slingshot for the property websites it is done through listing but for PA for the office website and the BA website it is done through slingshot write articles write articles and submit it to uh, PR websites write articles and submit it like uh, we, but that articles need to be original uh, these articles can be submitted to magazines, online uh, websites which accept articles. They are like prwire.org or uh, there are a lot many, I don't remember. But you can search it online, public relations, press release and public relations. And uh, you can just put the articles but ensure that they are original, they are not copied. If 30% of the content is, is elsewhere on the internet it will be automatically rejected there is a software into that blogs blogs are free you can start we will we'll discuss how to start your own blog and uh, there need not be original you can just paste whatever and it is in, in there images and graphics try to create images try to create graphics and put it on your website it improves rankings be the face that people recognize 
put your face at lot many places so whenever they search and they get your get you see your article they see your face you know that will increase your recognition there are a lot of websites which are most traffic website you can get links to them in there and that way your ranking will get increased